Good morning, one and all. Welcome back to Red's Homestead. Thank you for joining us today. Um, if this is your first time and you want to see what some amateur homesteaders are doing on their first year, this is the place for you. Um, please like any videos that you like. Please subscribe if you want to see more. See what we're going to be doing. Um, today is day 14. We have been here now two weeks, and um, I'm thinking every two weeks I'm going to kind of do a walkthrough, kind of a tour, um, so that I can just have maybe a separate playlist, and uh, it'll just be cool to see every two weeks, um, you know, what we've done and how this place is progressing, and what I was thinking is maybe trying to do some before and after shots using older footage. Be cool to see. Oh. Um, so today will be probably, I'll do two videos. Um, mainly for my mother, my Brit mother. She, uh, she reminded me, boy, we've seen the outside of your house, but we have not seen inside your house. Um, we want to see the rest of your property. So, yeah, I'm going to do that for you, Mom. I'll give you a little tour of everything today. Um, but before I do that, while it's still nice and cool out, um, I want to finish the rabbit hutch. I'm not going to, I am determined not to buy wood for this. I have some pallets, and I'm going to use those pallets to finish this thing up. A little more work, because I have to break down the pallets, but free. Free is good. Um, then I'll probably help Shannon with the rest of this wood chips, getting it all spread out. Cause <laughs> it's, it's still, uh, he came back and brought two more loads. So it was funny. I think, she, uh, Shannon, uh, her text messages, every time they came, uh, they got shorter and shorter. It was first, Hey, we got the wood chips, exclamation mark, smiley face. And then the second load is, Oh, he came back for more. Oh, and then the third drop is like, yep, more wood chips are here. And the third, fourth, hey, he came back. The pal's getting bigger. By the sixth one, all was more wood chips. So, I think we had about enough wood chips. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Welcome to Rob's Homestead. So I got the Sawzall out. Um, see, I was like, really, I was ready to start cutting these pallets. I cleaned them off to start doing them. Got my gloves and everything, my Sawzall, my blades, and I re-looked up there where I had some scrap wood. And I found the true, uh, true one by twos. Um, some pretty good lengths. And it's about the same as what I would have pulled off of the pallet, so. What I'm thinking is I'm just gonna use these and I won't have to uh, tear apart those pallets and I could actually use those pallets to make more garden beds, which was what my initial plan was uh, for the fall. So, I could save myself a good bit of time. That would've taken me probably a good hour. Let's see if this works. Fingers crossed. So I apologize for the poor lighting. Um, as you can see, only a couple of my lights Decided to come on today. So, um, yeah, I got my work light set up, so it should be fine. But, so let me give you an idea of uh, what I plan on doing, what you'll see. Is from the outside all the way to the outside of the, this 2x4, it's exactly 180 inches. So, what I plan on doing is coming along here, and every 30 inches, I'll mark... Um, so that when I put a board across, it's gonna be exactly 30 inches on center. And uh, that would be a one, two, three, four, five across. And then I'll do my, probably my connectors at the bottom just to square these things up because you can see the warpage, especially on that one down there. I think this one was all right. Oh, no, that one down there is still, it's a little warped as well. 
it's, just, it's old wood, probably 20 year old wood. So um, I'm gonna try to just square it up as much as I can with the, by bracing the posts. And I'll just make sure, just the way I do that is, you know, the exact measurements over here is 27 inches plus the one and a half. So exactly 30 inches from four by four to four by four. And so down here, I'll do exactly 30 inches, four by four to four by four, make sure, you know, this whole thing is perfectly square. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get her done. Forgot. One last thing. Gotta have the music going. I love this little thing. Solar powered, hand crank powered. I've never seen to have any issues with it either. So, it's at 50% charge, so. All right, well, we're done. Pretty much done. Um, I'm happy with it. I mean, things really, it's, it's solid. Um, no weight issues whatsoever. I was kind of worried, but the only thing that concerns me is this little middle brace here. You know, it's, it's weak. Um, you can see I should have used a bigger board, but I think the only way to really fix that is to do like a side brace like that that goes down to the bottom and it's not going to affect the what can hold up it's just going to make it a pain to move um i tried to do some extra supports on it but that's just not gonna not gonna be enough um for this two by four right here so we'll just have to carry it'll be fun <laughs> i'm definitely gonna record that i was carrying it to uh the other side of the property because Gonna have one person probably here. I'll be in the middle holding the heavy part, and then maybe I'll have Chris over here, and I'll just pick it up and walk it at the same time. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Um, so now I mean, I'm done building, which is awesome, and it was all free wood, so didn't pay a thing for it except for some screws. Screws and time. That would have cost a few hundred bucks. I just saved a few hundred dollars. All right, so the new project of uh, now is I'm just gonna start hauling some wood chips and uh, get some of that more area covered. So onward to more chores. So before I start hauling some wood, look at that, look at him. He just, I don't know, he'll be my audience. Um, before I start hauling wood, I wanna show you uh, my updates for my seeds that I planted. You can see Got them coming in. I want to say that's the broccoli. They're the long and stringy ones. Um, that looks like spinach right here. So hopefully, I didn't label them. Hopefully, I'll be able to identify them. Um, these three haven't done. These were the peas, I think, by the looks of it. Um, those haven't come up. This has come up. This is the kale. No, these were probably the kale. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so it looks like my little sunshade idea is working. I mean, it's 90 plus degrees. This is fall weather crops and uh, they're germinating. So let's go take a look at um, the grass and I'll show you what I've got going on growing there. All right, so you're looking at about, I don't know, three inches or so. I mean, it's very easy to see now, the grass seed. If you can remember, I'm gonna show this on our walkthrough, but this is all red dirt. And now there's pretty much a full lawn. I mean, it's, it's young, young lawn, but it's gonna be full everywhere I wanted it. I wanted to, the main area that I focused on was this gray patch right here. And you can see that's where I put the straw down. And it all germinated, 100%. And you can see where I stopped it with the straw, got nothing. So I didn't stay hydrated enough during this heat. Since the fescue doesn't like um, heat, and I was kind of playing a, playing against the odds of growing it 
right now instead of waiting until the fall. So, but we're good to go. All right, back from lunch. Ribs, good stuff. So time to start bringing out the mulch here. Um, just to give you a little bit of perspective, I have a wheelbarrow and a shovel. And I have to go from way over there to here. One load at a time. It's going to be a while. But there's a before scene. And this is the after. What I've gotten done. It's about two hours work. So... Still got many more days, so we finished filling this up, but about half a load done. Whew. I don't know if you guys can see it up there. Those are hawks. And they've been circling now my neighbor's property for a little while. Well, now they're over my property. Um, so that tells me I need to watch out for aerial predators. Especially if I have small chickens. So, some information to know. Beautiful birds. But boy, they can wreak some havoc. Well guys, that's just gonna about do it for me today. It is stifling hot well into the mid 90s and uh, I don't think I could safely do this anymore <laughs> I even had to give our rabbits um, some extra bottles some frozen water bottles so they can stay nice and cool their little indoor air condition they definitely take advantage of it so when I get multiple cages I'm gonna have to figure out at least get a fan in here um, especially especially for days like today when it's dead air no breeze you know, they need to they need to stay cool so I think the last thing I'm just gonna give my seeds some extra water and then uh, gotta do the tour so my mama doesn't get mad at me so until next time I'll see you guys later